Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, or whenever you happen to find me. Happy Friday, everybody, October 4th. Our author today in our daily bread is Bill Crowder, and he'll be analyzing 1 Peter 2, 23. When they hurled their insults at Jesus, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he made no threat. Instead, he entrusted himself to him. Who judges? And our title is a Christ-like response. George was working on the construction job in the heat of the Carolina summer sun when somebody living nearby walked into the yard where he was working. Clearly angry, the neighbor began to curse and criticize everything about the project and how it was being done. George received the verbal blows without response until the angry neighbor stopped yelling. Then he gently responded, You've had a really hard day, haven't you? Suddenly, the angry neighbor's face softened. His head dipped, and he said, I'm sorry for the way I spoke to you. George's kindness had diffused the neighbor's wrath. There are times when we want to strike back. To give abuse for abuse and insult for insult. What George modeled instead was kindness. Seen most perfectly in the way, Jesus bore the consequences of our sins. When they're hurling insults at him, he did not retaliate. When he suffered, he did not make threats. Instead, he entrusted himself to whom judges justly. All of us will face moments. When we're misunderstood, misrepresented, or attacked, we may want to respond in kind, but the heart of Jesus calls us to be kind, to pursue peace and display understanding. As he enables us today, perhaps God could use us to bless someone enduring a hard day. Caring Father, please help us all to find you and the strength and to strengthen you, grace, and wisdom to display the heart of Jesus daily. Thank you, O Lord. Amen. And now a couple questions for us to think about. What makes it so easy to strike back at others for their unkind words? How can you be more intentional about showing kindness to those who are unkind to you? First of all, I'm, I'm not saying don't stick up for yourself. Neither is God. Okay. By all means. Just because somebody is unkindly with their words, and that's going to put you in defense mode. Just be careful how you articulate yourself back. And maybe try and do it in a way where you're not putting them back in defense mode so you could have a conversation. See, I deal with a lot of things um, virtually. So I I do get a chance to, the nice part about that is I get a chance to take a deep breath and decide how or if I even want to respond. And when it comes to trolls, guys, 99% of them stole their mother's phone or are hiding in the basement. So again, just be graceful with your words. All right, everybody, have a great Friday. And remember to be good to one another.